Hi, I'm Mo, and today for Philly Changer Chats, we're here with Doug Barg of Kitchen Cred. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks, great to be here. Uh, so, tell me a little bit about Kitchen Cred. Um, I'm a little familiar with your organization, but uh, just for the benefit of the audience. So, Kitchen Cred is an out of school program um, that seeks to, to give adolescents life skills. Mm -hmm. But we do it by getting them in the kitchen, and they learn about cooking and nutrition and food safety and food economics. Mm -hmm. uh, but when they're not looking, they're learning about team building and leadership, and we're trying to enhance their self-esteem, mm -hmm. and also some physics, some math, some good stuff like that, some project management. So that's all going on, but that's going on behind the scenes. Oh, that's great. Um, and so your programs are not just about like the food itself. It's about kind of like building these kids as people. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, we're not vocational training. We're, we're really about, about cultivating the individual, but we do it through the universal language of, of cooking and food. I mean, everybody eats. <laughs> I love it. Um, so the it, Kitchen Cred is still a pretty new organization. Absolutely. Um, but you've had some successes already. Mm -hmm. uh, so w is there a specific story um, that you can tell us about like what the students have done already? Well, I, I think one of the stories that, that impacted me the most, um, our very first program uh, was with, uh, with an organization called um, the Youth Emergency Service Shelter, okay. which is part of Youth Service Inc. And that's a facility that, that's, that uh, basically provides housing and services to kids who've been pulled out of their homes by the Department of Human Services. Wow. So it's a short-term facility. The kids are there for, for up to 31 days on average for, for about three weeks. Um, and obviously they're at a tough time in their lives. Most of mm -hmm. them are not going to go back to their homes. They're going to go into either a group home or a foster setting. Um, at one point I noticed a, a couple of kids in one of the sessions um, who, were, who were, seemed to be overwhelmed by, by some of the other participants. Um, and weren't speaking up very much, and I was concerned mm -hmm. about that. Um, so I, I spoke to one of the youth workers, and I said, is, is there anything we can do to help them overcome their shyness? Mm -hmm. And he said, Doug, you don't understand. He said, these kids have come out of a home setting where they've been told their entire lives that they're not allowed to speak. Wow. Um, when they got into Kitchen Cred, this was the first time that they were given a voice. So that was, that was pretty impactful. <laughs> Wow, that is that's so powerful. Uh, just uh, empowering children to you know like have a skill that they didn't have before, and at the same time be learning all different kind of other things that they don't even realize that they're learning, and uh, being able to be free yeah, to be themselves. At, at the end of that session, uh, the the supervisor at the shelter sent me a note, and he's he said he said you remind me why I do this. Um, he said. For some of these kids, you've given them an opportunity to experience for s success for the first time in their lives. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, so, so it's primarily after school, right? After school, out of school. I mean, okay, Saturdays school. after school. We we try not to be in school. Okay, and and you told me that you have uh, like a pop up kind of thing that's going on. Yeah. So we have we have two different two different uh, sets of programming that we do. One is a is a six session course, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, a program. And the other one is, is individual sessions that we call pop-ups. We've got a really cool one coming up next month um, at the beginning of March. We actually have a group of kids from, from Youth Build Charter School um, uh, who are on their, their business technology track. Mm -hmm. They're going to be coming down to our home base, which is Venture Forth. Uh, a technology accelerator and co-working space mm -hmm. and they're going to be cooking together with some of the tech entrepreneurs we're going to be making crepes okay um, at the at the end of the cooking session we always sit down after after every session that we do we sit down at the table and have a conversation which is a lost art in many homes <laughs> yeah definitely. Um, in this case though the the conversations are going to be guided by by another partner of ours tech impact um, around the, the topic of careers in technology. So uh, it's going to be focused conversations. It promises to be very exciting. That's so cool, having the, the students actually, or the kids actually talk to people that are really doing, uh, doing this kind of work and um, letting them kind of see a peek of what their futures could be. Absolutely. That's awesome. Yep. 
Wow, that sounds like there's so much going on with Kitchen Crowd right now. Yeah, we, we, use, we use the cooking as, a, as, a, as a, a fulcrum to reach all kinds of things. Wow, that's so great. Cool. Well, I, I think that's all of our time. That went by so quick. Uh, but thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you. This was this. fun. Yeah, and uh, we'll be sure to share everything about Kitchen Cred on the website when we publish this video. And uh, yeah, Great, thanks again. Great, thank you. Cool.